Hello YouTube, welcome to the full step solution. Today I come to you with a very useful tutorial, which is master virtual machines in one day. In the first lesson, I will talk a little bit about these points here. What is virtual machine and how do virtual machines work? So you can get a deep understanding of this technology. Then I will try to give you a few ways that virtual machines are used for. And also, we will get through why we need virtual machines. Or in other way, what are the benefits of using virtual machines. So guys, stay tuned and get ready to go. What is a virtual machine? Simply, a virtual computer within a computer. A virtual machine is no different from any other physical computer, like a laptop, smartphone, or server. It has a CPU, memory, disk to store your file, and can connect it to the internet if needed. While the parts that make up your computer called hardware are physical and tangible, virtual machines are often thought of us as virtual computers or software-defined computers within its physical servers, existing only as a code. The physical machines equipped with a hypervisor, such as a kernel-based virtual machine, are called the host machine, host computer, host operating system, or simply you can call it host. The many virtual machines that use its resource as a guest machine, guest computer, guest operating system, or simply you can call it guests. The hypervisor treats computers like CPU, memory, and storage as a pool of resources that can easily be relocated between existing guests or to new virtual machines. Also, virtual machines allow multiple different operating systems to run simultaneously on a single computer, like a Linux distro on a macOS laptop. Each operating system run in the same way an operating system or application normally would on the host hardware. So the end user experience emulated within the virtual machine is nearly identical to a real-time operating system, experience running on a physical machine. How do virtual machines work? Virtualization is the process of creating software-based, a virtual version of computer with a dedicated amount of CPU, memory, and storage that are borrowed from a physical host computer, such as your personal computer, or remote server such as server in cloud provide data center. A virtual machine is computer file, typically called an image, that behaves like an actual computer. It can run in Windows as separate computing environment often to run different operating systems, or even to function as the user's entire computer experience, as is common on many people's work computer. The virtual machine is partitioned from the rest of the system, meaning that the software inside the virtual machine can't interfere with the host computer's primary operating system. What are virtual machines used for? Server consolidation is a top reason to use virtual machines. Most operating system and application deployments only use a small amount of the physical resources available when deployed to bare metal. By virtualizing your servers, you can place many virtual servers onto each physical server to improve hardware utilization. This keeps you from needing to process additional physical resources, like hard drives or hard disks as well as reduces the need for power, space, and cooling in data center. Virtual machines provide additional disaster recovery option by enabling failover and redundancy could previously only be achieved through additional hardware. A virtual machine provides an environment that is isolated from the rest of the system. Because virtual machines are isolated, they are a good option for testing new applications or setting up production environment. You can also run a single purpose virtual machine to support a specific process. Here are a few ways virtual machines are used for. Building and deploying apps to the cloud. Trying out a new operating system, including beta releases. Spinning up a new environment to make it simpler and quicker for developers to run dev test scenarios. 
back in up your existing operating system, assessing virus infected data or running an old application by installing an older operating system, running software or apps on operating system that they weren't originally intended for. What are the benefits of using virtual machines? While virtual machines run like individual computers with individual operating system and application, they have the advantage of remaining completely independent of one another and the physical host machine. A piece of software called the hypervisor or virtual machine manager lets you run different operating systems on different virtual machines at the same time. This makes it possible to run Linux virtual machine, for example, on a Windows operating system or to run an earlier version of Windows on more current Windows operating system. Because of their flexibility and portability, virtual machines provide many benefits, such as cost saving, agility and speed, lower downtime, scalability, security benefits. What is the best virtual machine software? Simply, the best virtual machine software makes it simple and easy to run different operating systems on your desktop, PC or laptop. Overall, virtualization has become a powerful tool in computing and IT, and here we'll filter the best virtual machine software. There are also a lot of virtual machine software and the cloud virtualization as well, but in this tutorial, I will try to use VMware and VirtualBox because they are the best in the field right now. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next lessons.